What's up, y'all? Welcome back to I'm Broken Studios. Today, I'm going to be showing y'all how to make like this vintage grunge look and these mock ups. So, let's get straight to the video. Alright, so first, you want to choose like your shirt mock up or any mock up you're going to do, hoodies, whatnot. So, I chose this mock up from Duran Supply. Just something a little different from like your average Rue Porter bling that everybody gets off the website. So what you want to do is you want to cut out the background so you just have the plain shirt and then I add back another white background just to separate the shirt from the background layer. Alright. Then what we're going to do is when I add our design. I made this design like a couple weeks ago. So I thought it would fit that, that grunge kind of vintage look. Go ahead and get it all centered. Now you can see, if you look at the design, it's just, it looks like a sticker on a shirt it has no texture. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add that texture. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the opacity down in this video, I changed it to 77. I might change it like a little more opaque later on. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag the shirt layer over the artwork layer. You'll go to your blender mode and you're gonna choose soft light. You can either choose, this is how I do it. You can either choose soft light or multiply. Then you go to your adjustments go to levels and what you want to do is you want to get the white slider and you want to slide it to the middle and click OK now you can see if you zoom in it has like that shirt texture but we're gonna keep going with it you know what I'm saying so what you want to do is you want to make that mask so it masks only to the design layer and not the rest of the shirt. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a grunge texture. I got this one right here from Unsplash. So this is how we're gonna make the vintage look that Hellstar got. So you want to start off, this is how I do it again. I go to adjustments and I choose black and white so I can see very clearly the values, the light and dark values of this uh, texture. You're going to grab the magic wand tool and you can select any value you want, the lightest, the darkest, you know what I'm saying, mid-tones. I chose the lightest. then you want to mask it from the rest and you can see now how like that vintage um, texture takes place so what you want to do is you want to take that mask hold option and drag it over your artwork so it masks just to the artwork and then you can turn off the original layer and now you can see it's that very worn, like vintage look. What you can do is you can invert it just to make it a little lighter. And now you can see that it has like that texture in it. You can also play around with like the density if you invert it. So that just basically makes the mask less dense over the lighter areas. But I'm gonna take it one step further. So what I'm gonna do, go back into my texture list. Now I'm gonna grab a cracked plastisol uh, texture. It's basically how like your t-shirts are get like they get faded and cracked. It's basically that texture. So what we're gonna do 
just gonna drag it over the artwork and then do the same process again we're gonna get the magic wand tool and then select the light value and then we're gonna mask it you can invert it to see like the way it's gonna come out I think I like it inverted better so we'll go with that so you're gonna take that and you're gonna drag it over option hold drag it over your artwork you can invert it change the density I really like it how this is looking right now it's like that good like grungy vintage look I think I'm gonna change the density just a little bit. And that's it right there. And this is pretty much how you do that effect in Photoshop. Let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Let me know what y'all wanna see next. Oh, I forgot to mention, I updated the way I take inquiries. So if you want to request a project from me, there's a link in the description for my Google Forms. You have to tell me what you want for your project and give me a description and you send me that and I'll respond to you via email. So please, if you want a project from me, you can go ahead and do that. I need serious inquiries, people who are gonna to respond to that email because Instagram DMs, I get a lot of people who want projects from me and I get, you know what I'm saying? It just takes a lot of time to respond to DMs. So, and that's all I got for this video and we out. Catch y'all next time, peace.